Welcome to Bottom Line Sports Talk. I'm George Abraham. You know my partner, Albert Kempman. Now, after we take a look at the local stuff, we got Super Bowl to talk about. Uh, did you see any ads or anything this time? Before we start, I'm just curious. Did you catch the ads? No. None of them at all? Zero. You didn't watch them? Not one. I don't There's know. one person in America who didn't watch it. <laughs> Seven million dollars a minute and Al didn't see. So you wasted your money there, whoever. No, not one. I, I, saw, I, I go get my food. Yeah, I, I, oh, <laughs> half time. I made my mind up. I How do food. I stay out for exactly 28, whatever the minutes were? I did perfect. I, I was driving during that time. But I'll tell you what. They, they, I only saw a couple. Was there any good ones? The little kids, when they talk, like, you know, they're babies and they're adults talking about investing money and stuff. Okay. It's, called, it's any trade. Right. Years ago, the little guy was in. He was golfing with the old man. And the old man was complaining because the little kid beat him. He's this big. And he called him Shankopotamus. That's how, it's the same dude, only older. What do we got going on locally? Well, locally, we started with YSU. And uh, they came back on that second game after a five-game winning streak and lost 81-78. to 78. Uh, after 10 second half lead changes, um, Cleveland State's Drew Collar hit the hit the hit the caught fire, <coughs> hit big baskets. Okay. Adrian Nelson tried. Okay. He tried to keep him in the game with 12 points and 19 rebounds. But that second game of the weekend, yeah. there's nothing like it in their leg. No, uh, you have to really try to get that first one. And Youngstown State did. Yes, because if you follow the horizon. Every second game is is way different. I was following the YSU game. game, you know, score wise, because I was just curious. I said, if there, this is one of those, you know, not that you can't lose every week, you right. know that. Yes. But I thought between the line and the fact that it was the second game, as right. you said, I followed it a little closer than I do normally. And Cleveland State's good. Yeah, you know, they're, they're third place. They're, they're right behind Youngstown State. And talking about how good YSU is, they're twenty and seven, twelve and four in the horizon. Yes. Uh, they p play Milwaukee on Thursday night. I'm going. I've already got my tickets for the game. I'll be able to tell George what it's like because uh, I expect it to be a packed house because they're tied for first place. And uh, that is going to be really, really a, a big game for the seeding in that tournament because there's one team going. <laughs> there's no two teams going in out of their league. And you have to win a tournament. You have to win it. Yeah, and there's no, uh, they lost by, it doesn't matter. Mm -mm. You, have to, you have to win that. So. We'll be telling you more, talk about more about next week about that Milwaukee game with YSU. But right now, tie for first place as we sit here in February. Also, you'd want them at home. I mean, yes. if you ordered this game up, if you said, hey, in three weeks. And they're great at home, by the way. Yeah, YSU's let's great play at them at home. Mm -hmm. and, and they just had that bad loss to Green Bay. Milwaukee's not playing good, by the way, right now. Uh, that, that loss to Green Bay. I, I remember looking. They were 17-point favorites. Yeah, they, and they just went overtime with Detroit or Oakland, too. So they're not, they're not playing good. It's time to get them. Time to get them right now. Talk about the girls, women's. They needed a win bad, and they bounced back for their second straight win, 72-67 over Detroit. Coach Barnes said, finally, played well. Uh, I'll tell you who played well <laughs> was uh, Lizzie again, Lily Ritz, 26 points. And, th and 12 rebounds. That's, that'll, that'll lead you to victory, uh, Lily. Good job with that. Um, they fended off the, the, the Titans by, uh, at the end of the game, George, they almost blew the game, ended up winning by two. But I know Coach Barnes will take any win he can get. No, not after you lose a couple. Right? Yes. You, 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 you're just thankful, hey, we got it. Whew. You know, they're at the point of the year, as you say. Every, you know, these are the dog days. You have to get in there, and you, have, you may have to, like, especially – Women's ball, like that game in the second half, would be crowded Thursday. But yes. the first half, you have to energize yourself. I go to games up at Slippery Rock and sometimes Westminster. It's you. Yeah, you have that passion for the game yourself. Yeah, and I know these, not going to do it. And I know, I know these girls do because I could tell by their record, 18-7, and 12-4 and four in the Horizon League. They, they, both these teams are, are worth watching, uh, the men's team and the women's team. Let's, uh, let's, let's come out and support them as we do in Youngstown. Talking about uh, support, um, Dan Yegley's had it for years at, at South Range. 28 years, I think, he's been there. Um, what, a, what, a, what a record he has, 248 in, in 75. And he topped it off this past year with a state championship, 16-0. and 0. Uh, I had a feeling this was coming. Didn't, didn't, didn't know why, how. Usually, though, when you coach that long and have a state championship, George, Call it, call it a day. Yeah, I'm surprised it took him three, four months. He must have had some deep thought. Yeah, because it's not easy. It's a good no, way to say it, George. No, it's not easy when you no. put that much time into a school, no. uh, invest your, with the, the kids. Um, 
but it, it was time, and it was perfect time. Now, now somebody's taken over a, a legacy of uh, uh, three regional championships and one state title, uh, eleven double-digit wins. In other words, he's really been successful. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's a tough job for whomever that follows that act. You know what's that old saying? You want to be the you want the second to, guy, <laughs> the, the guy who replaces the guy. You want yes. to be the guy who replaces the guy who replaces the guy. Yeah, that's because, the best, that's the way the best way to do it. No, because it's uh, the standard's high there. Really high standard. It is really. I mean, I figured out it's eight and a half wins a year. That's a lot right. of wins. You know, you can't get many fours. No, there aren't many you know, that's in like there. when Wilt averaged 100, he didn't have many 38s. He couldn't. Because <laughs> then he needed, what, 100, no, 72 or whatever, yes. 62. Absolutely. Youngstown State was a major part of this past Super Bowl. I, in, in the pro, pro football re- reference, 29 players have played in the NFL yeah. and nine have played in the Super Bowl. So I'll tell you what, um, people don't realize how great the football is at YSU. <coughs> and especially they had one local native. Great kicker, Jeff Wilkins, um, all-time leading scorer at YSU, member of the 1992 National Championship team, runner-up team, uh, the 1991 and 93 championship teams, and he won a Super Bowl in, in the Rams in 2000. That's quite a career, Jeff, and uh, he's still working for the, for the Penguins. He still works out, works there. It's a, what, a, what a great job. Yeah, you know, you can say all you want, but there isn't a coach that doesn't want a big-time kicker down the stretch. Like oh, last wow. night, you still had to make it. Yeah, you know, I mean, kidding. you can talk about it. And I saw one doink. So, you know, it can happen. I always, you know me, I, I can't fathom letting a kicker decide the game. But right. obviously, they've decided tons of them. And 90, but you said about 97 out of 100, they're dead on. Yeah, you know, with, within from that like range. Five or 10. Yeah, within yeah. that range, they are. Yes, they are. Yeah. Uh, in local basketball, Campbell's David Moore, late basket. What does it mean? The Red, the Red Devils of Campbell share the MVA championship with Brookville and LeBray. What's more important, it's amazing. They start out the year one and eight. George Lawson. What's that say? Injury, change lineup, something. Whatever it was, something happened. Yeah, you, know, you don't <laughs> see that. Le- very, one, eight, very, 11, and 10. Very seldom. So the, two. the coach was so excited after the game, talking about how the kids hung in there and had the grit to hang in there. And he, he should have been. That's the way that works. And, uh, um, when you, when you try to uh, fathom 1-8 and eight and winning a championship, I can't even comprehend it. Congratulations now, well to done, guys. Campbell. Well done, guys. Guys, coach, the players who remember, well done because you could have uh, thrown in the towel at about 1-5 and five, yes. said, well, let's, uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to miss practice right. tomorrow. I've seen teams do it, by the way. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and the 44-41, that's old school basketball. That is. That's defense. That, that's, that's defense. That's the way we played back in the mm, day. That's you, defense. You know, the, the, how you, how, you can't be gunning up and down like that. My thinking is, if I looked at their scoreboard, I think they probably won by playing better defense. That's just a guess. When you, when you, when you defend yeah. and you guard like crazy, you have a chance to win games. And that's what, that's what no, Campbell did. You have a chance. That's like the other day someone was saying something about this one team and the guy said, hey, he said, they have a chance every night because they rebound and defend. George has added a word there, too, rebound. And, you know, if, you're, if you can guard all you want, if you, if you give second and third shots up, you're going to lose. And re- rebounding is the most underrated re- statistic We have a buddy in basketball. Who, who knows how to teach it. I don't know. He, he number does, one in the country again, you said. Number one in the country. And what hurts, he's got 20 wins. And the guy that left his place has Butler nationally ranked. And they're going to host the tournament next weekend. Wow. They have not been like that. But he brought some guys with him. Mm-hmm. And then our buddy KR took over there, and they're both winning. So it proves, you know, you can win different ways, different styles. But the bottom line is you always say you better have some players. Yeah. And bringing players with you in today's world is what you want to do. <laughs> oh, I just saw the other day somebody flipped this great uh, high school quarterback. So I did a little investigating. And here I found out here that... That was the guy who coached at his high school. There it goes. There you go. That, there it goes. Makes you wonder how the guy got hired. <laughs> I know why he got hired. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, we want to congratulate Andy Saxon. Yeah. For, uh, for, he was honored Thursday night. Long career at Gerard Girls Coach. Um, he, as he said, I've been here a lot. I've made a lot of friends. Know a lot of people for a long time. Started in 1985. 15 sectional championships. 456 wins. Uh, congratulations and. Uh, uh, he, he, was, he was really humble in his, in his statement. I like guys that win a lot of games that are humble. Congratulations to Andy for that. You know what, too? 
you can see that he has old school values. Because what did he say? I wanted to start and finish here. Today, man, that's like flipping a coin. Thank corn. you for that comment, George. You're not finishing today. Thank you for that comment. Yeah, especially especially with how the parents are. I guarantee that he, he built up a relationship with the parents and understood what he stood for. And that's why he lasted so long. Talk about somebody lasting a long time and passing away. The legendary Don Butchie from Cardinal Mooney, who retired as AD in 2020. Um, he had some great comments from ex-players, people involved with Mooney. Uh, one of the ones I like wrote down from Carl Pelini, the coach now, despite all the wins and all the championships, I think his greatest impact was the impact he had on the lessons he taught to so many young men throughout his career. Uh, when I followed Carter Mooney football, I remember, the, I remember the Triple I. They were famous for it. You li they line up in that Triple I and say, here we come. Um, great, li great line, and he always had great line play. Uh, great Run record. Run it again. Over and over. That's what I've over and over. The, Lindy Laurel, these guys That's, were. They were alike. They were playing the Lindy same Laurel, way. Lindy Laurel, Don Bush. And then you're thinking, oh, Jesus, here they come. It's worth feeling. Has to that be. they know they're coming right at you, yeah. and you can't do anything yeah. about it. Yeah, run it again. <laughs> I love that. Four state championships, 73, 80, 82, and, and 87. <coughs> 15th all-time winning coach in, in Ohio history. Uh, what a legacy he left. Um, congratulations to the Butchie family and the Cardinal Mooney family for a, for a uh, coach that yeah. Earned our uh, oh, our water. respect. respect. That, that, I better. I think I was with Bill. I, I don't remember the circumstance, but I you, you kind of walked away and you said, "I, I know why he's good." Does that, yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah, Bill Bourne is our guy. Yeah, and uh, only eighty eight years old and coached last year. Yeah, yeah. But he is our guy, and if, if, if any Bill Bourne talks good about anybody, yeah, you know immediately that yeah. it's real. First class person. Yeah, that's that's what, that's the thing that I get. See, I see a lot of. Especially Phonies. in basketball, <laughs> that's my. I have this phony Phonies. meter. It's probably too sensitive. But anyhow, what I'm saying is I see a lot of guys that are either jerks, but they can coach, or they can't coach and they think they can. Like these old school guys did it all. Yeah, and uh, they learned the values. It was a time, that greatest yeah. generation, you know, which we talk about yeah, that. Absolutely. That there was a, there was a yes sir and there was a no sir. Oh, you're opening the door for women. Yeah. That's, that's the way it was. And we're going to treat people, uh, we're going to tough love you. Now, I didn't say Butch was going to say. say no. He, I head. guarantee you he got on people. Yeah. I guarantee yeah. you. But they knew that the caring was part of that tough yes. love. Yes. You know, that, and that's the best coach there is. Oh. What kind of coaches let you do whatever you want? These, yeah, they, and I guarantee. <laughs> and act like you I them. guarantee these former players. They know. Appreciate it. They know. You know that's what they do appreciate it. By the way. Yeah. They might yeah. not appreciate yeah. it right at the moment. Not when you're running more. around the fence one more time. <laughs> I guarantee you're not appreciated. Right. Yeah. But no, come uh, you're 35 years old, and all of a sudden, you go back to the school, and you you think you know what. This is the best time of my life. It's a true choice. I used to tell those guys, I kid them, guys, I'd just be burying them, <laughs> conditioning and stuff. And I said, you know, you'll thank me for this someday. I said, you're going to pay someone to get you in this shape. You know, teasing right. them. But at the same yeah. time, truth. It was true. Total truth. I can remember plays Total from truth. my games like they were yesterday. Total truth. Someone Total asked truth. me today, do you remember? Junior, I remember the games. I love it. That's 50, 60 years ago. Yes, I remember is. the actual game. Like so I said to someone the other day, they said, I said, no, I, I was there. I played in that you game. You know it. I knew exactly. Yes. All right, let's talk about, uh, we have to talk about the Super Bowl. We would anyway. Uh, down to the wire, the kind of game, if you ordered it. Kind of thought it. We kind of thought that kind of game was good. Yeah, we did. And I have to say, now I have to ask you, I only read this last night, but it was big on ESPN overnight. The condition of the field. I saw them slipping. They did not rush Mahomes. Now, that. see, we don't have any way to gauge O-line blocking or combo. But I did read it all over last night, so it must be so. Well, I know this, that Mahomes is so good, and I put him up, in the, I put him out, up in the Mount Rushmore after a second Super Bowl, that he gets through the ball so fast. Okay. And he, and he moves around in the pocket just enough. Oh, absolutely. And then if you really come from the outside, he'll run it. He'll, he'll take off and run. Yeah. He does things that other, they don't see all year with the other quarterbacks. And, okay. Uh, uh, so, because I, I was walking with my grandson, and he must have said four times, "I thought they had him, Papa." Yeah, I thought and they had him. He knows too. They thought they had him. He did. Too. That's what I'm saying. He yep. knows yeah. too. I'm getting rid of the ball right you here. You know, and I actually watch him when, he, when he's scrambling. He's looking past Never all the way. Looking run. Never looking then, run. when he does, I look at him and I see he's deciding how quickly to get down. And he'll get that extra seven, eight yards. 
He's the best. He's a little faster. Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson with him are the two Is best. Is he a little faster? He yeah. Looks, oh yeah, maybe. no question. I thought you. Yeah, were yeah, say but it. that's a good point. That uh, that was the that was the write up coming in. Why Philadelphia was going to win? They were going to win because their offensive Both line. Both lines would create the defensive line. The offensive line took care of their business. Philadelphia's offensive line did well. I agree but, with you. But the you. defensive that's line. That's interesting. You say the defensive line did not. That's I mean, they, they were non-existent. No. Second <laughs> never, half. I never sure. saw them do anything no. the whole game. How yes. about the second half? Yeah, domination. Now I have to talk to you because you refereed briefly. I refereed poorly in the summer. I mean, poorly. <laughs> it's our job. Because I'm watching the game. I said, boy, that's a nice. Guy. You see that foul? I said, no, you're watching the game Actually, too much. Actually, I didn't. I said, you're no. watching the game too much. But, I, yeah. you know, and I, my heart wasn't mm-hmm. in it. But let's just talk about it for me. You did ref. The last holding call. I'm reading on ESPN into my... Shock, Bradbury says, yeah, I held him. Mm-hmm. In the regular season, okay, that is called all the time. Okay. But as I told you, George, in the, in okay. the playoffs, okay. the, the flags stay in the pocket. And you know, you win that bet. I win that bet. I did. And, and I, it was ten and a half yesterday. What was it, eight? And it ended, ended up nine. Yeah. Ended up nine. And that last one, it was eight till that penalty. Yeah, and they, go, they don't throw the flags in the Super Bowl. That's the only reason I'm surprised. I'm not upset with the call. I'm, up, I'm upset that okay. normally in that situation, All right. they're going to say, we're going to let the players decide this game. Okay, now my question, my further problem. up would be, are you not deciding it by not calling it? My, that's a good question, but I, I'm, not, I'm not, when I watched it six times, I watched okay, it, I, I didn't see him, okay. like, grab the Just jer- kind of a desk, he just, yeah. He and detailed him, what's over the word, derailed, yeah. derailed him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but just. The call's okay, though. Yeah. I mean, I, the, the call doesn't bother me. How about if he reroutes him and doesn't keep his hand on him? Then should, should be no okay, call. Let me tell you, Gene, said something should interesting. Should no Gene Steratore was on. We'll have I, him on the, we'll have him on the I show. I sent him a quick text, because I was, but I wanted to ask this, because I heard him. And I was teasing him about uh, how good his speaking is. He's fantastic. He says he leaves the Yinzer at home. <laughs> you know, the we was yes. and all the them yes. guys. Yes, how we talk, right? Yeah. So I'm like, okay. So I'm listening. What did he say about the penalty? Okay. He said something. It wasn't regarding that, but it was in the same vein. He said, your goal is to create a game where it's consistently called the entire game. That would be my question of the guy that called it. Yeah. Because uh, he maybe let four of those go. I guarantee he did. That's what I said. Oh, I know that. It's about okay. the amount of penalties. Okay. That's I, what I'm saying. Well, okay. In a, in a, in a, you they can't nine. play with nine penalties, you're saying. Yeah, yeah. In regular season, they 16, have nine in the first half. 16. <laughs> yeah. They have nine in the first okay. half. In, in, now, these are the better teams, though. Yeah. Better teams and better referees. So, I'll, I okay. will say. That. All right. It, just a shame. All right. No, that no. one little call. Oh, yeah, because they'd have gotten the ball to, back. Comes down to it, They yes. would have gotten the ball back with a minute 40. Right. And, and they probably would have scored. Well, at least they field goal, you would like to think. Yeah. But it's interesting. That's why I wanted to ask you about George. that. Okay, and, and so basically, you go that for 38-35. It was an old AFL game. It's the way the games are played today. You know, the what, last what, seven were under. I, I, <laughs> last seven playoff games. Yeah. Not, not seven. No, no, no. Last no, seven. Not seven. Uh, but these two teams are the best offensive teams. Like the Giants are not a great offensive team. Uh, San Francisco did. did you understand? Yeah, they didn't have a queen. They didn't you have, can't. There, throw was that reason, out. there was a reason why they were. You know what? I want to say this. And remember, <laughs> it's not their fault. And they didn't schedule. And I'm not saying anything, but I want to state a fact. Could you have two easier games than the Giants and the Frisco without their quarterback? And that's why they were under, so. Yeah. I can understand. If, if Phil they weren't trying to score. Phil Dubbin quit trying <clears throat> to score. They didn't quit trying to score yesterday. So that's, yeah, there's a reason for the script. Uh, there's, a, there's a reason why those games are, are unders, just the way it is. And, and Mahomes got hurt against Cincinnati and couldn't hardly play at all. The games were unders because there was no other thought yesterday. That was over from the time it started. Now, halftime, you said something interesting. You were out. Uh, yeah, I was and, driving, and, yeah. And the announcers painted this gloomy picture of Mahomes hurt and down 10. Oh. They're on the, on the, I told George, I called George, I said, listen, I'm on Mahomes' butt because they're, uh, uh, and he ended up being great in the second half. But they're raving about him in the first half, saying how great he was. I said, George, he played lousy. Then they're saying he ain't coming back. Oh, he can't play in this. They said he's not. His heading's warming up. He's not coming back. No. Then I see him take off on a Fine. on a run for yeah. about 22 yards, yeah. and I said he ain't hurt that bad. How about bad. Eddie retired after the game? What he retired Henny after did. the game? Did he? Two Super Bowls. Yeah, he was. He's a lot of like Cliff Stout. Cliff Stout and Henning had the same career. You know, lots I did. Of, I did. Lots of rings. Yeah, and not much. Play a lot. Not much stress. <laughs> yes. I uh, saw something the other day that really bothered me. You know, one of those backup. It was the guy I think that I really like at Washington. He said, "Well, I'll compete for a quarterback." He said, "If I don't start," he said, "There's a lot worse jobs." I didn't like 
No. A little like too that. cavalier. Right, you don't want that. I yes. want to say, I'm going to be in there, and if he beats wanna, me, I'll fight. But he's going to get my best. Yes, I don't You I agree. agree. Yeah. Now, what do we do with Big Andy? We got to move him up. Oh, he's all, he's all the way up the, in the top five. Right? Oh, he's top five. Yeah, no okay, question. Okay. Yep, I do. I have that one. Okay. And you, when you take a team five straight. Yeah. And so you win two. He's one, two. See, the one to fluke things out. And he won two. Yeah, so he, has, he's, he moved up quickly into the top five with, you know. A so super. you have him in the upper echelon. Yeah, no doubt. Okay. No doubt. Okay. Yep. Now, now, he ran two plays last night. Now, I'd have to see the all 22, but I know when someone trickarooskies somebody. He ran one to each side. The one yeah. to Sky Moore. I've seen him I run it before, though. Run. That's what hurts. He's ran it before. Who? In and out. He's ran it before. It looks like going across the field. The defense, they, and where's they, it? They saw the defense. Who stops? The defensive back who's guarding him. Should figure he's going to cross. Thought so. He was taking off full speed. And they had to see that on film and say, and Philadelphia's going to run. Did you see Kelsey on the other one? They did it again. Kelsey went in. Like two guys went toward him, and I could see Kelsey going like wide open. Nobody near him. They called the play Corn Dog. They said, Hey, by the way, Corn Dog, (laughs) nine to one. Thank you, Sky Moore. There was one corn dog, dog that was very dog. happy There's watching that game. Nine and a half to one. That's corn dog. You don't get odds like that, do no. you? Uh, my home quickly. He, you've moved him up in your odds. So how far, Al? Um, you don't have him with Brady yet. No, no. Not Brady, seven. Not even close. No, no. <laughs> Elway. That's who he is. I'll put him right there. I'll put him right no, there I'll right stop. now. Yeah, no, I'm going to stop. Yeah, I'll put him with Elway. Well, who, where do you put him at? Yeah, you have to. I, I figured he's going to get three or four. You understand? How many? Now, now, here's the question. How many would he have to get before you adjusted your board? Five? If he gets, if, no, if he gets two more, four. Four. If he gets four Super Bowls by himself, winning Super Bowls. Okay. He'll, he'll, move, up, he'll move up number three. He'll, oh, it'll, it'll, it'll be, okay. Uh, it'll be does he need seven to be the GOAT? Oh, yes. Oh, no. You don't go buy somebody unless you win as much. He does. Oh, okay. That's yeah, Brady, going. Montana. Okay. Okay. No, and, I'm... You know, that's, that's where I have him. But I have him home with a Elway. That's where I have okay. him right now. Mm-hmm. Nothing guaranteed. He has a chance. He could walk down the steps tomorrow and uh, trip into one of the kids' roller skates and you never hear from him yes, again. Yes, that was right. Uh, when they gave up their speed guy, the cheetah, everyone, that's it. They're done. Dad, Jude, you can't run. This guy, he's gone. No, no, they're done. They got the missing link and, the, and nobody has it. 87. Kelsey. Right. They got the missing link, and nobody no, has it. It's no, really simple. Nobody has it. That you, no, well, but I'm going to ask you again. He ran the first pad play of the game. I'm going to ask you again. <laughs> first touchdown. What, yeah, don't know. they know he's out there? <laughs> you know, it's coming. And uh, the best thing about it, they have Juju, they have Scantling. Yeah. They have, they have other guys who can play. Yeah, you, you know, can't let him. You yeah. just can't cover him before That's like guys. the guy on the way in here. He's a Philly fan. He you said, can't cover him before guys. He said, come guys. on, Juju, where were you? You know, in other words, but when I needed you, you right. stepped up. Yes. Because he was a Philly guy. He wasn't real happy. Right. Uh, the franchise regrouped and won on the fly. Remember everyone was picking Denver. I remember. Oh, they, 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 Denver. They like Denver and like, and like the Chargers. Yeah. Yeah. They thought both of them were dethroned in Kansas City. Chargers. Yeah, they did. You, 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 honest to God, you can make them 15-0 and 0 and I still wouldn't You would trust them. I don't <laughs> trust that dude. Now, NCAA hoops. This is getting to be... We should just record this part of the show every week and just fill a name in it. It's Purdue this And I week. said it wasn't 12. It's, they're, 15. They're well, it's 15. It's 15 or more. No question about it. Does that. anyone want to be number one? They're not a number one team, though. That's the problem. Why? Okay. There isn't a number one. I understand. You understand? If there was a number one team, I'd tell you it was going to be. Right this minute, there is no one, and they're going to try, there's no one can tell me who's going to win this NCAA tournament. No, no, no one no, can tell. I agree. Alabama's all. first time number one in 20 years. You think that people aren't going to. They almost lost to Auburn Saturday. No, they can. So, no, no, I saw them. They, 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 let's see what they do under pressure. When, when their threes aren't going in, I want to see what happens. So, um, yeah. But that, that's wide open, George, as you said. They're more than ever to win it. We've ever. said it every week, but I think we're adding to our number. You know, the more than ever, but I'm really glad two of them aren't. Duke and Kentucky. Oh, they're both playing. They both of them should be should not be in the no, tournament right now. No. And I, but you watch, they're going to finagle it. I couldn't be. That they'll be in there. I they're going to be in I there. I could not be a bigger critic yeah. of the Kentucky <laughs> guy, you know. And then Duke, I'm just sick of them. Period. You know what I mean? Yes. Crying on that foul call the other night. Cry. Oh, we have a buddy. I told you, I didn't even take his call yesterday. I get a text. You know, he's the only guy that ever lost with a favorite in overtime by the spot. Did you know that? <laughs> I can't remember. I oh, said, no. would you? I don't even over take and over. it. No. Over and over. Like a million guys didn't have over and over. do good <laughs> Yes. Uh, all the years, I don't think I've – am I wrong? I go back to the 70s. Have I seen the ACC this bad? This is by far the worst. Or is it my aversion? To oh, no, no. It's written in fact. And the, 
that okay. they are rated right now the okay. seventh worst seven best. They're always two or three. I, I use the word worst. Yeah. They say it's the seventh best okay. conference, and they were always one, two, Would one or two. Would you say that? And is, does Pitt back you up? Yeah. In other words, does that back your argument? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. okay. That's what I wanted yeah. to know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is it a one-year thing? Now let me say, I'm starting to notice. I don't like to be. I walk uphill to school both ways. Right. But I will say. The good guys leaving after one year is having oh, its no, effect. Oh, no, it's everything. Yeah. It's an I'm portal. telling you. It, but the poor, it, it, it's a combination yeah. of two things. And I'll tell you this, too. These MAC teams and stuff in the past, they'd get against a Walter Berry and a Mullen and have right. no chance. Right. There are no Walter Berry. No, they can play. Yeah, there's two reasons George just mentioned up, that the big, the great players are gone. Yep. And every team has reloads after, like Kentucky loses a player every year. They, don't, they used to never lose a player. Bring five back, too. Yeah. yeah. They never lose a player to somebody hey, let else. let me ask I, I, I was thinking about this myself. I know that a lot of teams could win. How many can win six in a tourney? That's, that's tough. That's the question. That is the magic That's what that's we the, don't know. That's the magic question. It is, George. Good and question. you know who I never count good out? Point. That's the a good million point. dollar hairpiece. Kansas. Never count Yeah, I out. never count them out. No. Nope. In the women's game, we don't give it a lot of detail, but we have to mention yesterday. 225, 24 and 0 teams meeting this late in the year. Quite impressive. And the young lady really has them going at South Carolina Dawn State. That was the worst that was the worst part of the game. I, I turned it on for five minutes and it looked like a number one team playing a number fifteen. Yeah, fifteen team. That's no. not supposed to happen. No. When a one and two play. One and fifteen other, two out of the game? Yeah. It was well, over. There it was over for your points. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. Yeah. And finally in women's basketball, it's taken a while. But old Gino just has another team. In other words, <laughs> He quits coaching How when about he gets... He's at a top seven, but yeah, he has just another yeah, team. Yeah, for him, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and when he gets behind, he just sits down with he that quits towel and he quits, yeah. He's so used to killing everyone. And I go back to the year he had the first six drafted in the WNBA. He had six undefeated teams. It's incredible. Six undefeated teams. Now, money, 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 money. Not a good rendition, but when Texas and Oklahoma can pay $100 million to leave, you get the idea. Yeah, that's the part we continue to discuss. The, yeah. Think about the money behind the scenes that they're yeah. making, that they can spend yeah. $100 million to yeah. get out. Yeah. Hey, Jeez. we're looking at 16-team super coverages and pods, it's right? <clears throat> is that what it is, 14 sure. pods or yeah. whatever? We're not sure what yet. It's coming. But I saw the one with Penn State. They still have Ohio State, so they haven't gotten away with anything. That, they want to get out of there. <laughs> uh, you want to get out of there. Uh, NBA All-Star game, it's a pickup game. They can't make it interesting. Of the sport, for us. yeah, the That's only for us. one, the only, yeah, the, the kids, kids, love it. yeah, oh, it'll be seventy-seven. Can't wait. No. They love it. Oh, oh, oh did you that see that oh, spinneroni yeah. dunker? Yeah, that absolutely, yes, yes, absolutely. The only one baseball is still a game because of the pitching. Yeah, it's just incredible. That and that's going to go to sixteen real soon. That NCAA tournament, we'll say that twelve of football is going uh -huh. to be a year or two. Uh, All star basketball. I don't like. I like the NF and NHL right at halfway. Baseball a little more. Basketball, Baseball there, is, there are 55 games in the in, in NBA. Right. It's two-thirds. It's, it's not the right time. Right? Now, let's talk about that. And B didn't make, now that was voting by the fans or whatever. They don't do positions, so he gets left out in that respect. Obviously, he'll get picked early. Uh, how big of a slider is it some of for as much as he sits? No, he should be on there for sure. Oh, he'll, yeah, he'll be on the team. That's how great he plays, yeah. Okay, hey, several trades at the deadline. I don't remember this many uh, important people. Oh, trade. Phoenix becomes a favorite immediately. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, they, went, KD they went from nothing. You got KD. Yeah, he puts them. He puts them over yeah. the hump. I mean, yeah. they already had a good team. Yeah. You have Aiton and you have Booker and you have Paul. Booker. And you had Aiton. Had some vitamins. Now or something. you had him. Hey, Aiton's doing something. He he's either mad or something. It's unbelievable. But man, he's playing. Yeah, Phoenix becomes a favorite instantly. With Golden Durant. State still say what they want. They're going to have to win in the road at some point. They're not winning it this year. No, I don't see. No. It. I agree with. They're you. not. They're no, not with Durant out there. What is almost here? Major League Baseball. The fans are packed. The Hope, gears on the way. It's already there. And I know one thing. The local teams, Pirates, it may be false, but the Indians are really, real yeah, they, they have real hope. Real hope. What do you think can happen there? They can win it. Can, That's what well, has. that league doesn't hurt either. That they can win. Business. Hey, thanks again for watching Bottom Line Sports Talk. We'll see you next week.